My name is Anneke Hesseling and um, I work here at the Desmond Tutu TB Centre at the Department of Paediatrics and Child Health at Stellenbosch University. We're based here in Cape Town in South Africa. Tuberculosis in children really indicates what is happening with the larger epidemic. It's a form of sentinel surveillance, as it were. It really tells us how well we are actually controlling the TB epidemic overall. So what TB in children really signifies is what we are achieving or not achieving from a public health perspective with regards to controlling our TB epidemic. And I guess if you're surrounded with pediatric TB in the hospital, in the community, you feel you actually want to do something about it. TB in children has really traditionally been very much neglected by what we call national TB programs or NTP and even by WHO. And I'm talking about up to a couple of years ago because the emphasis really was on adult and usually smear positive tuberculosis and what has been quite exciting in the last decade and especially in the last five years that there have been a massive resurgence of interest on pediatric tuberculosis acknowledging that it's important from not only the individual child perspective but also from the public health perspective and an increased focus on trying to report the number of cases of TB in children trying to better prevent TB in children and trying to study TB in children including um, having children access the important new tools and the discoveries that are being made for the prevention and the diagnosis and the treatment of children. I think the, the challenge and one of the important focus areas is really to have sustained funding available for pediatric tuberculosis and I would actually argue and call for research funding to not only be available to look at children but actually to look at children within the context of their households and of their communities. I think one of the big challenges is to try and see children within their households and within their communities when it comes to tuberculosis because we can do wonderful research studies in children but if we don't actually impact on transmission in general and if we don't strengthen the general healthcare systems, children will also not benefit. Looking at TB in children, we focus on the child itself, but what I would actually like to see happening is that we focus on the family approach to TB, but also to the mother and child approach. Now we know that mothers, young women in general, have a much higher risk of TB than was previously appreciated. Pregnant women and women during the antenatal and postpartum period have a much higher risk of tuberculosis compared to women who are not pregnant. And that problem has really been exacerbated by HIV co-infection. And also the women and their babies who have TB during pregnancy, or babies that have been exposed to maternal TB, have a much higher risk of not only of TB disease, but also of death. I think one bigger issue in terms of the ethics is of involving children in studies is making sure that children down the line would actually hopefully have a, um, have a a real chance of benefiting from the research that's done and making sure that the risks that are posed by the research really are um, minimal or are hugely outweighed by the benefits. So I think there, it, there are challenges but certainly these challenges can be overcome. Um, I would really advocate for the fact that we need to carefully consider these challenges and make sure that children are not omitted from research because people think that it's too difficult. So if we're not able to diagnose and treat appropriately the adults um, to which children are exposed, we're not actually going to get a handle on this. If we can actually advocate to have um, high quality research, looking at the tools, looking at health system strengthening, looking at HIV, looking at MDR tuberculosis, and try and bring that all together and also include children and their families in this research agenda, rather than having all these separate topic areas and focus areas that often tend to not be integrated. And whenever we're thinking of tuberculosis, um, think of well, what about the children and actually what about the families?